everybody. David Burns, Certified Master Beekeeper, with you again for another video with my lovely wife, Sherry. Yeah, hi. Hi, Sherry. How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice to have you. Thank you. Sure. I am not a Certified Master Beekeeper. However, I've lived with one for many, many years, and yeah. so it kind of... <laughs> I am one by... By Osmosis. default, yeah, yeah. right, yeah, <laughs> well, for sure. Well, I've always thought you know as much as I do because that's all we talk about, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But one of the things I wanted to do with you today, because, you know, you're the uh, brains behind the operation, behind our business especially, <laughs> I thought it would be good to take people, especially if anybody is new to beekeeping, take them through the year yeah. of not just what a beekeeper's year is like, but let's also talk about the year that we offer to beekeepers too, like our business, I guess, because a lot of people don't understand that. We have people that call up and say, why can't I buy packages yeah. now in the winter time? That's true. And, mm -hmm. and they ask in the summer, why can't I buy a winter bee kind? And, and it's just like, oh, we need to make a video. Oh yeah, that's with a, a good. Kind of an eventful calendar of how people oh, are doing yeah. Oh yeah, I think I do that. I bet 50% of my questions all day long are, you know, when do I do this? Yeah. When do I buy this? Or I thought I could do that and it's not online anymore. It's like, oh, well, you know, beekeeping has a season to it. And That's right. you have to learn. It's kind of like you can't go into Menards and get tomato cages in December. You know, they, they're not there. It's not the season for it. So it's kind of like that with beekeeping yeah. as well. Can't buy a swimsuit at Walmart in, in well, the winter. You can't in Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> in Illinois, yeah. yeah. Well, we land you can't, but that's true, it is. there are some places you can. But, <laughs> but right, well, that's a, that's a good point because beekeeping is also different depending on where you live in the United States. So even though there might be some companies that start selling a lot sooner than we do and maybe sell a lot after we do, we don't because our season is only so big. And, and even though we... Um, um, supply to all of the United States, there's still some of that, you, you got to be in the season, yeah. you know, for different things. I'm involved in a sport that requires us to have hand warmers sometimes, you know, because mm -hmm. our sport carries over into fall and winter a little bit, and spring, we start in the spring, and we start like in March, so we need hand warmers. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't find hand warmers in the fall they're not out in the stores yet. They don't really make it until it gets cold outside. But we start having colder weather before hand warmers show up, and that's so frustrating. So yeah. I, I buy them. I buy yeah. a big old box full. So I can have them in the future. You yeah. Know? yeah. So it's exactly. similar that way with beekeeping. It is. it is. Oh, let's start with this month. This is uh, December. We're a week or two away from Christmas. Mm -hmm. So what are beekeepers doing now? What are they buying? What do they need to be doing? Well, I. I always encourage everybody to start your thinking in the winter time. So you start, the first thing that I always say is you either need to get a really good basic book, and I'm talking like even pre-basic, you know, like... Our book. Yeah, like our book is, is a really good one for, yeah. as you're starting to get into it, you know, so it's not like all this technical stuff. And you're overwhelmed and you're like, I'm done with it. Yeah. It's it's yeah, it's very basic. It, it gets you thinking about why you want to have beehives. Do you want the honey? Do you want pollination? Are you just looking to um, uh, provide, you know, beeswax, you know, for people for candles? Or you do you want a business? Is this just something you're just gonna put in the yard and just enjoy looking at, which is perfectly mm -hmm. fine too. So um, you, you you need a good basic book or a basic beekeeping course and those of course are very hard you know because of covid it's very yeah. hard to find a, a beekeeping course but a couple of years ago we put all of our classes online so they're they're uh david's actual classes are online and and you can order those and a lot of time during the year we got even got them half price so yeah. you know for 30 bucks you can pick up an entire basic class and take notes what do i need why do I need it? Where you know, you know, where do they say to put it? Do I have that spot in my yard? I need to go outside and look. I need to see if I've got, you know, the the right kind of space. And you do that long before you even think about ordering absolutely your hives and your bees. A lot of people when they purchase our online courses, they're confused 
they are like, how long do they last? How, you know, when, when, how do I know that I'm going to watch it in time before it expires? Mm -hmm. And we answer that all the time. <laughs> Once you buy our online courses, you have them forever. Forever! They don't, they don't go away. And you can watch them over and over and over. Yeah, you can pause it. <laughs> you can, you know, because remember, you take those basic classes and you forget half of it by the oh, time yeah. you get home. But yeah. with an online class, you can always go back and you can just keep, you know, going back and looking and going, oh, I forgot what he said. Oh, okay, now I understand Absolutely. what I'm supposed to do. So you, you yeah. always have it. It's always in your pocket. You take out your phone, you can look at it, you yeah. know, so you've always got it. Okay, so that's what a, a new beginner in the winter is going to be grabbing material, taking courses online. Yes. And that's the time to do it. Probably no classes available again this year, 2021, because of the pandemic. You know, we, a vaccine's not coming out until spring to the most population. So it looks like people are going to be best to take online courses yeah. again. Uh, so, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that takes us all the way through uh, maybe the spring. So, but well, when, when do people start yeah. ordering things? Yeah, well, once you start, once you get your ducks in a row in the winter and you know what you want, and you're, it, because you need to know do you want one hive? Do you need two hives? Mm -hmm. Do I want top bar hives? Do I want um, Langstroth hives? Do you know, you, you need to know all that first. But most companies will start selling packages of bees which are three pounds of bees and a queen that's in a box mm -hmm. cage more or less or a nuke which is a little mini hive which has got five frames in it and a queen it's all ready to go um, those are your two choices and, and we sell both of those we sell both of those and most companies start well there's some companies that start in october november i December, know they the used best, to not do that they didn't used to wow. do that i don't know why I don't know why they do it now, but either. the vast majority of companies will start January, February, March. So if you don't get in there right at the beginning of the year and get your name on a list, you might be out of luck. That's right. It's, and unfortunately, it's one of those things where people, you know, it gets into the spring and where we live, it's cold. And then you get in the spring and you're like, yeah. I want to buy <laughs> bees. I want chickens. I want yeah. bees. I want goats. And that's great. They've been sold out for months. Yeah, they've been sold out for a long time. <laughs> so, so frustrating. It's, 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 yeah, it's too late to wait. So you got to start learning in the winter. You got to get online in January. And, um, you know, there's a lot of companies out there. You know, so how do you choose which one? Well, of course, we think you need to go with one here, right here in America. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, U.S., support those small businesses, especially nowadays. Keep your money here in the U.S. and uh, and support the businesses that are right here in mm -hmm. the United States. Absolutely. Okay, so they, they order their bees, they order their hive, and most people get their hives first. Now, in our case, mm -hmm. people, if they order the bee, if you order your bees from us, you need to come to our bee farm and actually pick them up usually in late April mm -hmm. and then you take them home and install them in your hive it's always a good idea to get your hive first put it where you want to put it and uh, yeah. it's fine sitting there you gotta get the ground ready yeah. you gotta move nice. things away have yeah, fun plant, doing you know plant some of those flowers that you need to plant you know for the bees maybe you'll plant them around there I don't know but don't <laughs> please don't Pick up your bees in your hives at the same time, unless you're experienced, because it's overwhelming. Yeah. We've had so many people that, you know, they'll pick up everything all on the same day, and they'll go home, and they're tired, and they're exhausted, and the kids were crying in the van the whole way home, and throw it in the garage, and... Wait two days. It, yeah. Wait two or three days, because it's raining, and it drops down to 20, and they go in there and find out they've got a dead package of bees, and they don't know why. Yeah. So, yeah. you need to have everything set up. Yeah. Ready to go, feeders filled up. Oh my gosh, it's like a new baby. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta get the diapers in the crib and the car seat. Yeah. You gotta get that all yeah. set up. You can't wait and stop by the Walmart on the way home. Yeah, nobody <laughs> really has really the baby and said, on the way home, let's buy a bed and some diapers, maybe a bottle. Can formula, can formula? Yeah. <laughs> well, That's a good, good point. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, you get all that stuff set up. Yeah. You breathe. And then you wait in anticipation for your bees to yeah. arrive. Okay, so they, they buy their, they've got their equipment set up, they buy their bees, they install them, and now they're into spring and summer. Mm, now we're into May. What do they do then? Well, you know, the, the first thing you've got to do after you install them 
you need to start with all of your, you know, we do our organic treatments all through the summer. And that for mites, is right. for mites yeah. and in beetles and, and other things. And uh, and that way that it gets them ready for the winter time. Yeah. But you start that in spring. You really do. So, you know, yeah. we've got the green drone come in there for the mite control. You know, we're doing our inspections every couple of weeks. And at the same time, we're doing, you know, our, our prior sugar treatments for our mites and, mm-hmm. and checking to make sure everything's okay. And, and during this time, you're remembering what you learned in your first class. Yeah. But it might be time to even think about the other courses, advanced courses. Um, you have a queen in there now and you might be thinking to yourself, how do I get a new queen? Well, there's also a queen ring class, you know, that yeah. you can take. There's mic control classes and that mic control is that one thing that you need to start it in the spring and stay on top of it all summer and fall. Yep. You're going to have a dead hide next fall. Yeah, and then they also have to negotiate supers because they're beef. Hopefully, you're going to make honey, so you're having to decide, do I put another super on now? Do I put a queen excluder on? Mm -hmm. And uh, you just keep adding those honey supers, allowing your bees to fill up more and more supers during the summer. And that might be confusing, but that's all talked about in a beginner's class. Yeah. And so that's why you need to take the beginner's class or read a book. Why can't you just tell everybody that right now? Well, it's just... It's so many hours. <laughs> yeah, there's oh hours. Gosh. It's it's hour. Believe it or not, you wouldn't realize that. It's not a simple thing. It's not. No. It used to be. I Same mean, way. I mean, back in the day when we first started, I think you could just. I mean, you you inspected it, but it just wasn't near as severe the mites and the beetles yeah. and things back in those days, Definitely. as it is as it is now. That's not to discourage anybody. We've got to have the bees. You just yeah. need to learn management maintenance. That's right. Or, you're, or else you're going to be very disappointed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If mm-hmm. you try to keep bees today like you did or like we used to in the 60s or and like 70s. like Grandpa did. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> not the same. Work. It's not going to work, unfortunately. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So they go through summer. That Now they're starting to get more and more supers on there. Uh, they're heading toward late summer, fall. What needs to happen now? Well, you're you know you're still doing your inspections. You're still checking to make sure that your queen, you know, is queen right. Your hives are queen right. Your your you've been doing your green drone comb. You might have had to do your your beetle traps uh, during the summer. You know, some other kind of maintenance things. But now, if we're getting into the fall, we got to start thinking about winter. And so, fall for most of the country, not all of the country, but a lot of the country needs to really do some significant. Uh, maintenance in the fall in order to get those bees ready for the winter. Because you're gonna start by taking the honey off. You gotta harvest that honey, don't you? Mm-hmm. So that's if there's all, enough. Yeah, if there's enough. If there's yeah. enough. 70, right. 80 pounds is what they need and you might need to leave it. But, I need yeah. to leave that for the bees, but if you have excess in that, then you're gonna harvest your honey frames. That means you're gonna have to borrow an extractor, purchase an extractor, whatever. You know, you gotta Rent them out. Yeah, you got to... They're, they're out there. Yeah, there's, there's... Don't be scared of that stuff. Yeah. Right. I know a lot of people, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll say this right now, a lot of people like the flow hives because they feel like there's an ease in the maintenance of the of getting the honey out. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I I can see the appeal. I mean, why wouldn't you want to go in? Turn the knob. <laughs> Turn the yeah. knob and get a, get a whole jar of honey. I wish I had a cow that way. <laughs> like a, from the... From the pasture, there's just a pipe that comes to my refrigerator, and I can turn a knob yeah. and get milk. That was, who wouldn't want to do exactly. that? Exactly. Fresh milk. Exactly. Yeah, we get it. That's that's cool enough. That's cool. But for the price, you know, that you pay, you can get some significant equipment and do a whole lot of hives yeah. instead of just one. Plus, I'm I'm not knocking the flow hive. No. Like we said, it's a good thing. But yeah. I think beekeepers at least once need to experience. Oh man, it's a it's oh. a thing. I know. I mean, we invite people over when it's time to extract. To cut the cappings and yeah. see the honey flow out. Yeah. And and you have they the love extra it. wax to play with. It's so fun. It is know? fun. They take home, you know, they take home the honey. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. Okay, so you leave maybe 60, 80 pounds of honey in the hive for winter. But 
I came up with the winter be kind. And I love that so much. Well, but let's talk about fall feeding. We do need to so. feed in the fall. Yeah, we do yeah. need to feed in the fall. I so. invented the fall feeder. <laughs> you did have a really cool feeder. Yeah. yeah, there's two things that you came up with, the worms feeding system and then the and the winter system. I was frustrated that bees were struggling to be fed properly. Because you know, in the fall, you have a dearth. There's no more flowers, especially after your first hard freeze in October it's over and yet the bees are still very active until they really cluster oh my in the gosh winter. do we stop eating just because it's fall yeah exactly <laughs> because you know all the I apples know. have fallen off and yeah. but what did the bees do you know they, they, they still need food. to eat they eat what they have what's and, in there and if people don't realize that come february it's gone yeah, I know. <laughs> and they're like and then they're calling us up going why did my bees die? Well, yeah. first of all, we never know that answer. We can't know That's that from 50, you know, 500 miles away. We don't yeah. know. But um, a big one is starvation yeah, in the is. winter time. So sure we, we, the warmer it is, the more honey they'll eat. So if it's Thanksgiving and it's 65, they're going through that honey. Whoosh, whoosh, they're going through know? their stored winter yeah, honey. They can, they can actually consume everything because from October to November, that's over two months, and they can be eating through everything they have for winter by that December, passes. by the that first passes. day of winter. People just yeah. don't get that. They, so they frustrating. Don't get it. So, so we do fall feedings with the Burns feeder system. Yep. And we created it in such a way that, you know, the bees couldn't drown. You know, there's so many of them that bees can actually get into and they drown. Don't want to use entrance feeders in the fall because no. that attracts the robbers and, yep. I don't know, other insects probably from, mm -hmm. you know, who smell that, you know, that sugar water. So this way it's enclosed on the inside, it doesn't, it doesn't and attract screens, the And it screams, so you can replace the jars yeah, and these are Yeah, it's real simple. Real simple. It's real, it's real simple. So we just, whoosh, in, yeah. the, in the fall, we're just really feeding them yeah. heavy. So they store that up for the winter, mm -hmm. just then in we, case. Then we get into winter, so I recommend that people put our winter bee kinds on after it turns cold. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I haven't put mine on yet. No. Because it's been 50 degrees. It's not you know? Christmas. It's almost Christmas, but yeah. we haven't even put ours on in Illinois. Yeah. You know, at this point. We feel so. like bees should be able to make it through the year without, you know, they should have enough stored food on board if they're healthy and strong. Yeah. But you shouldn't have to really feed them winter food mm -hmm. until you get into January, mm -hmm. usually. You no, know, sometimes not even then. Yeah, but, not even then. But you just, it's just insurance. Yeah. But this candy, we make this candy that's full of, uh, sugar and and um, pollen powder and feeding stimulants and vitamins and minerals it's it's full of that yeah. it's a it's a proprietary recipe but we do we do give you a basic recipe to follow it um, but we we fill that in this board and on the other side's the insulation mm -hmm. so the insulation is providing that barrier between the hot yeah. and the cold mm -hmm. and then if there's any moisture in a hive which is another thing that reason that hives time the winter time the moisture that's inside them well tell them what the winter bee kind does with yeah the moisture. so the moisture gets absorbed in the candy that we give them the and food cool. <laughs> and so the, that makes the food more pliable yeah for the bees to consume bees yeah. don't eat now they don't have teeth like they don't either. have teeth bees don't you know yeah and and there's a lot of things that beekeepers give the bees thinking that they're eating it yeah they, i know i don't think that they are i don't think they are either <laughs> it's like uh they everything i always say everything a bee eats they eat through their proboscis yeah, through a straw. straw a straw yeah so there's a lot of things that beekeepers are trying to feed bees that they're not no they're not being able to suck up hard, a straw. hard sugar like uh if you just pour table sugar in the hive yeah and expect them to go up through the top maybe inner cover to get the hard Hard, can't, hard sugar, they could eat it, but only if it's, uh, they have to have a lot of moisture, moisture in it. to make it's it dissolve have water in it so too. they can drink it. They need to drink, drink it. it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they need to drink it. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to share a little bit of secret. Our candy boards are not, it's not hard. Not a hard candy. It looks hard, hard when you get it. It, it does I mean, look, it, it does a little look that way. Yeah. But it's, it has a, it has a bit of a liquid nest to it so the bees can't access it once that moisture goes up into the That's candy right. oh, yeah. and makes it softer and then but then sometimes they um you know it will fall down yes and and they do they get in there and they tunnel around mm -hmm. and, I, and they create that they drop it down, they yeah. drop it down so it's 
closer. Now, when it drops down, though, knees. it's so close to the top frames anyway. It only falls about. Oh no, it doesn't fall. Yeah, no, I mean, no. unless you're doing it wrong. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not falling a, no, no. a whole deep fall. Because some people feel like, oh no, it's gonna kill my beads. It's gonna no, fall. It just kill my beads. Sits there. Yeah. yeah, it just drops down like uh, less than a half an yeah. inch. It drops on, and the bees yeah. do that to get it to fall into the cluster. To get closer to the cluster, they, so they, that's why we don't feeding the bees. Yeah, in the so cluster. that's why we don't put any kind of Screen. barrier or anything yeah. on it because that's what that's the way they you want. You don't it. want to. Yeah, that's right. It works out really yeah. good. It the the issue good. that we have though, there there are some people watching this that they want a winter bee kind right now. And it says sold out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's your gig. What's well, going on with that, that? That's another of those in season kind of things. So when bees go on sale, they go on sale, for instance, January 1st, and we sell out in a month. There's only so many bees. Bees, we can't just continually make bees. We're not, yeah. we're not bee makers. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, we're bee havers. So we have what we have. And with winter bee kinds, they go on sale around August the 1st. And we do that because we need to know a, uh, a basic number. And uh, if we don't know what that basic number is, you know, we, we don't know how many people to hire, or we don't know how much wood to buy. I mean, we, we need to know basic We have to buy pallets of sugar. Pallets and, uh, yeah, of pallets vitamins and pallets and minerals, of sugars yeah. and that kind of stuff. So we need to know, we kind of need to know that number. So we start selling them in August. And we sell them until we know, based upon our projections, what we can uh, safely and and thoughtfully and responsibly, and responsibly yeah. get out the door and so sometimes they do go out of stock and uh, you just need to get in there in August it as long as you do it between August 1st and November 1st we can take any number that's right I, I just can't take you know a, a known I have to have a known number you yeah. know in order yeah. to do that because we make it. David makes each one of those, and it, and we, I, I, we do it because I pour every uh, one of them. I I every mix, one I mix the he, ingredients. He mixes them, he cooks it for <laughs> you, he it weighs it one. for you. That that's that's all him. And um, but it, it's kind of a little secret recipe, so we kind of keep it under our hat just a little bit so that's why we do they, but we do give people it, a recipe and we, have, we sell the ingredients yeah. if you want to make yeah. your own once you buy one you can make it at home you know right but so we maintain the quality because we make them ourselves yeah which means we have to have a dedicated space and we've got to have dedicated air conditioners we have to have dedicated um they have to cure so we have to have dedicated space for them to cure so we so we can't just have any unknown number we, yeah. we know what we can do there's a lot that goes so. into it it's, yeah. people think you build a board you pour candy on it but that's not what happens at all you got to monitor humidity oh. and airflow oh, it's yeah. just tremendous if you don't do it right it, and yeah, temperatures it's, it's and so sensitive it, making it can, candy it can, and we do it all at one time yeah because it is so hot and it does take a lot of people to do it so we make a big party out of it and we make all these babies and we've got people in there we've got our grown children are in there and we've got the music up and boxing we're back and in and boxing oh, and, yeah. but they all have to go out you yeah. know within like a matter of two weeks that's right you know because it's a seasonal yeah it's a seasonal item but if so somebody's watching this if somebody's watching this like in the like now like in december mm -hmm. it's likely that we could bring them on oh they'll come back yeah they'll come back online probably Maybe after Christmas, because yeah. we want to celebrate the holidays. We can't work ourselves constantly. We, we have to take a break somewhere, so we do take a break around the holidays. But we're thinking that probably toward maybe the end of December or the 1st of January of each year, that we'll put some back online, but only what we can produce. Like, we're not going to put 2,000 online in January. But this is what's so cool about this, is the fact that when we make it, it's something you can use over and over and over again. And we send, like like you said, we send the recipes, and you can get the ingredients. You make it yourself. So, really, once you buy it the first time, it's there's nothing to making it yourself after that. But I mean, some, I know some people don't have the time, maybe, or the space. But it really is simple. We have some customers, though, that do send back the refills. And to have, have me refill their winter becomes. It's something we used to do a lot of. We really don't do it anymore. But no, it, we can't. Mm -hmm. Because we just can't. Mm -hmm. 
Right. But space. there are some people that <laughs> twist our arms, and they've been a customer since the beginning of dawn of the, the day. <laughs> and so we just can't say no to some people. So we do still refill some of them, but not many a year. Yeah. It's, it's better just to buy a new one. I've got some customers that have refilled them so many times. This year, I wrote a note and said, this thing is the insulation. You don't have to buy a new one. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the bees are starting to eat through the insulation, and after year, 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 and year, and year, just buy a new one. This little thing is done. But tell, tell them what people say about them. Yeah, everybody. I mean, it's insurance, but. Yeah, what, everybody what says say? it's amazing how strong their colonies come out of winter because the bees are eating this uh, resources and protein, carbohydrates, that the queen keeps on laying more. And so the, the colony is much stronger Strong. and it, it becomes warmer in the hive because as she keeps laying all winter, more bees make more heat. And so they don't die from too much cold weather. Mm -hmm. They have the food to keep laying some brood. You can make better splits. Mm -hmm. It's almost the opposite. Like you come out of winter with these on there. You have so many bees that it's so almost like overwhelming. Like it I gotta make be. a split. And another people are split. making splits, right? Yeah, right, right off the bat when they it's get into the spring. Startling. Just you know, it just makes sense though. If you have strong, healthy bees, they have to be healthy. You can't feed sick bees and expect a miracle. Oh to... <laughs> my goodness! If you haven't done a good job all summer, right. don't expect anything that yeah, we do yeah. to save them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one of kind is not medication. I mean, it doesn't save a dying hive, but. If it just helps a hive that's strong be stronger. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it just, it just, it just, it's just, it keeps it's them from starving. Insurance. Yeah. And so you go out every couple of weeks on a calm day and you just peek at it and yep. see if you need to refill it. That's always the big question. They always say, how long does it last? And it's like, Till it's empty. How long does the food in the refrigerator last each <laughs> yeah. week? You How want it to last for a week, class. but yeah. do you, you know it doesn't or it does? It's how much you eat, you know? <laughs> yes. Okay, right. so, so they come out of winter. Listen, now we're talking more about a second or the or somebody that's kept bees all winter. Yeah, so and, you're uh, coming into your first year, and the first thing you need to do before spring hits wherever you, you are is take that spring class. Oh, yeah. That wow. spring class is going to teach you about swarms. That's going to be your big thing this year, splits. And feeding in the spring. Feeding and supering your second year. What is, what's all about the supering in the, in the honey extraction? Because, you know, we don't really do that the first year. That's, we, right. that's really yeah. the second year. So you've got to take that spring class in order yeah. to understand, what do I do with this huge, mature hive now? Right. That's different than when you get a package. Absolutely. And the other thing is, if somebody successfully overwinters a colony, and now they don't know what to do in the spring, then that can have adverse conditions. Primarily, half of them will swarm and leave, and now you're left with only half of your colony in the spring, and they have to replace the queen. The, 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 your original queen flew away. Now you're hoping they'll raise their own queen. So now, if you don't have the experience to monitor that new queen they're raising, they may not make a new queen. That hive that was so strong swarmed and can possibly die in the spring on you. So. Knowing what to do in the spring is so important. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and one thing we ought to mention about your classes is the fact that because your classes are taught by you <laughs> and David is a certified master beekeeper, they do count in those states that say that you're required to have taken a beekeeping course before you keep your bees because there's, they only take those classes from certain people. Mm -hmm. A certified master beekeeper is one of them. I think a university extension might be another one. I, I don't remember what the third one is, but all of our online classes count, and we send you the certificates when you, when you send back your worksheets yeah, to right. show us that you have indeed completed the work. We send you the certificate you can take down to your local government, city office, whoever it is that wants it, and, and for your license. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, some municipalities will not let you keep bees unless you know what you're doing and prove that you've taken a class. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then they go into spring and then you kind of wrap around and pick up where we left off. So mm -hmm. uh, I, maybe that's been informative to some of you, both uh, experienced beekeepers and those of you thinking about getting into beekeeping, kind of get your timing down right. Get your timing down, know that everything has a season to it when it comes uh, to beekeeping. You know, mm -hmm. for instance, we get all your stuff before you need to get it. Yeah. You know, that's the second thing I, I think I would suggest. Don't wait until spring and think you're going to get hives. I remember yeah. about 
15 years ago when beekeeping really became a big deal, you couldn't get a hive oh, I know. for weeks. And we would have people actually walking in the door saying, I've got this package of bees, I need a hive. And we'd be like, "Yeah, oh my gosh, you know. I know. We haven't That's had terrible. hives in weeks, you know. Yeah. So it's don't wait, don't wait. Yeah. Let's start it in January, take your classes, get all your stuff. Good. Be ready. Well, thanks, Sherry, for joining. Everybody was uh, blessed to see your beautiful face. Oh, well, thank you. But there's one more thing that we forgot. Oh, okay. Well, even after they have all that stuff and they still have questions, you've got a program. Oh, where yeah. They can call you on the phone and talk to you. Yep. B Team 6. Um, I've got a little over 200 people that I mentor. And That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. That's where we draw the line. Draw so the if you line. can't get onto the program, that means there's already too many yeah, people yeah, on it. Too many. But it, if you can check and see if you can yeah. get in. And uh, you can call my cell, my personal cell phone. Yeah. Text me. It, it keeps it. I, I, we're, we're out to eat and he'll answer your phone call. Oh, yeah. 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 So sometimes even on vacations. Yeah. Sometimes Vacation. even on holidays. That's right. I'll answer That's your right. phone call. So those of you that need a mentorship, you know, with COVID, you may not have a buddy down the road that wants to come over and help you. Well, your bee club's not meeting. Well, a lot and of, the, a lot of the mentors are older people that are more worried about COVID, yeah. you know, so they're not really getting around a lot of people. So this way I can be there for you to talk you through some issues. And it's very affordable. Yeah. Call, email, that. text, yeah. send pictures, FaceTime. You can be in the hive and FaceTime yeah. while you're in the hive. It's not really good. You know, so he's right there. At the put a, I'll put a link down below where you can check yeah. that out. So, Well, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, please subscribe to these videos. Click on the bell so you'll be notified each time we make a new video. So we'll see you next time.